Hello and welcome to the Lions South Pan. This is today we're going to talk about certain questions of biology over here. Uh, this is for the exam which was stated on the 28th of the May. All right. So in that, I'll just read out certain questions along with their options. See one good question. Uh, that's question number 95. In your different question papers, you might be having the different numbering. Okay. So in my question paper, it appears at question number 95 that says, which of the following cannot be grouped under narrowly utilitarian category of biodiversity conservation? Okay, so question number 95, as per my paper, in your paper, it might be something else. The question number might be something else. Okay, so out of four options, Konsawala, narrowly utilitarian category, biodiversity conservation mein nahi aata hai. Okay, so they are given the options. Uska options are uh, construction material. Construction material means you might be having a wooden, right? The wooden blocks and all, fine. So, wo to definitely biodiversity conservation jab karte ho, to usse benefit usme hone wala hai. So, of course, that will be affected. So, wo answer nahi hai. Again, B, it's a uh, second option says cereals, fruits, and pulses. Wo bhi, yes, it will also be affected. Agar biodiversity conservation nahi kiya hai to cereals and all, fine. So, wo bhi option nahi ho sakta. The other one, it says pollination. Pollination. Now, pollination has got no direct relation over there uh, as far as this biodiversity conservation is concerned. Therefore, we get the answer as the pollination. All right. And of course, you can see the fourth option too. Fourth option is trying to talk about the dyes, resins, perfumes, and all. So, what's the be effect? Because biodiversity conservation for two reasons. One is broad utilitarian category. Uske liye broad utility hota hai biodiversity ka. Okay, large scale pe uska kya benefit hai? Ya narrow scale pe kya benefit hai biodiversity conservation ka? So narrow scale pe some benefits will be seeing. Large scale pe will be seeing some kind of some other benefits. Large scale pe for example, agar large scale pe usse kya effect ho sakta hai? Biodiversity conservation nahi kiya to global warming and all those kind of the effects. Fine. Narrow scale pe, narrow scale pe you see the direct usage ya direct benefit from biodiversity conservation. So all these three are going to get affected except this. So ye wala ka answer hai, that's a pollination. All right, we can see some more questions which might be a little bit difficult here. Hello. Um, you got the question 101. I believe you are asking 101 about the statements to correct ones out of them. You want to find out, is that correct? I feel that, Rohan. So there are four statements given A to D. According to this question paper, in the numbering 101, four statements are given. One A to D, and you have to select the two correct ones out of them. Let's see. Who's my four statements? Kya? Number one, majority of higher plants, animals, growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive events. Chapter number one. Ye chapter number one ka point hai. Question 101. Okay. Aapko two correct statements to find out karna hai. So statement A, B, C, D are given. First statement says ki most of plants or animals may growth and reproduction. They are mutually exclusive. Wo right hai wrong hai. That is correct. Aapke only let's say bacteria may. Bacteria may growth and reproduction are one and the same. Bacteria mein growth kaise hoga, let's say cell hoga, cell ke division hoga. Bacteria is a unicellular organism, one cell ka two cells banega, uska reproduction bhi, uska growth bhi hai. Okay, so but most of plants and animals mein kya hota hai ki growth and reproduction, they are mutually exclusive, they are different events. Growth different hai, reproduction different hai. Let's say uh, plants mein, ya to humans mein, animals mein, growth ho jata aapka 20 years tak, uske baad mein aapka agar marriage and all, or let's say that's the reproduction. Is going to take place, all right. So, what different story here? Growth different here, plants and animals, right? So, exclusive means different from each other that way, okay. So, number one, A is correct, apocalypse seasons find out the mind. Then, B says, photo period affects reproduction is seasonal breeders, both plants and animals. Yes, photo periodism, you plant growth and development, me aata. So, it's very, very clear. Photo period ka meaning kya tha? period or duration of light. After which the flowering will take place. Both are photopurism. So plants are your study very well. Same way, even the animals are also going to get affected because of that. So B also appears correct. So A and B both are correct. 
if you try to see A and B, the answer comes as number one. So A statement is correct, B statement also correct, or option jo tha, first one, number one me, usme A and B diya hai. So that's how we get that answer. Okay, likewise. If you see the question number 96, um, according to this paper, that 96 says, is wrong about the pressure flow hypothesis. Question number 96. Pressure flow hypothesis. So pressure flow hypothesis ke terms mein a question aisa diya hai. In my paper that is number 96. Okay. So for pressure flow hypothesis quotes are a statement wrong hai. You can see all different statements. The last statement us mein diya hai. At the sink, osmosis is necessary to move the sucrose out of the flowing sap into the cells. See, this is the wrong statement find out. Karna hai. And this is regarding pressure flow. Pressure flow hypothesis. What was it? Flowing wale transport. Mein. Flowing when the food transport was there. So, you have options A, B, C, D. Diya hai. Kone sa wala? Wrong is you have to find out. Karna hai. If you try to see the option D, उसमें दिया है ऑस्मोसिस ये जो प्रेशर फ्लो थ्योरी है फ्लोइंग का जो ट्रांसपोर्ट उसमें फुल ट्रांसपोर्ट होता है फुल ट्रांसपोर्ट इज एन एक्टिव प्रोसेस ऑस्मोसिस वर्ड दिया है आपके ऑप्शन डी में सो ऑस्मोसिस एट द सिंक फूड व्हेन कम्स आउट तो ऑस्मोसिस से होता है एट द सिंक नॉट एट ऑल व्हाट हैपेंस इन प्रेशर फ्लो थ्योरी उसने लीफ में से जो फूड बना था वो रूट के पास में जाने वाला है तो रूट का जो फ्लोइंग होगा उससे इट कम्स आउट सिंपली बाय ऑस्मोसिस नो लोडिंग ऑफ द फूड मटेरियल वो भी एक्टिव प्रोसेस था अनलोडिंग है वो भी एक्टिव प्रोसेस है तो ऑस्मोसिस वर्ड इज रॉन्ग ये आपको कैच करना है ओके सो ऑप्शन डी वाज रॉन्ग इन दिस ऑलराइट दैट्स हाउ इट गोस यू कैन सी सम मोर क्वेश्चंस टू नाउ and what I suggest to you, आप अपने वो लोग से अगर आपको कोई doubts है, questions है, तो instead of writing only the question number, आप short में उसका हमको just question in brief, कौन सा वाला question किसके साथ dealing है, वैसा वाला you drop me as a question and I'll help you with that. Anyways, okay? It seems photo periodism affects animals. Yes, it does. Photo periodism does affect it. Because we are talking about talking about the reproduction process. Photoperiodism largely, largely we see in the plants. We can study the plants very easily. Photoperiodism process is called. Okay, because we flowering, flowering is the reproduction in the plants, right? Vasi animals maybe it's going to equally affect the same way the reproduction. Not all. Come on, it's not going to affect us. All right, but yes, the season. There's a different season. I got different duration of that. Photoperiodism. क्या है? Duration of light. कितना duration of light है? Which may lead to the reproduction. Which may lead to their activation. All. All right. That way. However, mainly, अगर आपके exam में अगर ऐसा question आता है, you go to go in detail or be specifically towards the plants. Plants. They are more sensitive. They are showing clear flowering with the effect of duration of light. So photoperiodism is very clearly seen in case of plants rather so that would have been even more better question all right that way so let's see one more question over here 106 that 106 what does it say um it's asking you to find out the wrong statement wrong statement after find out 106 me four up options the i have was made to see um a b c d c while i do sentence a c option उसी ऑप्शन में इट्स रिटर्न ट्रांसपिरेशन मेंटेन्स द शेप एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्लांट वो तो करेक्ट है ट्रांसपिरेशन से शेप एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्लांट मेंटेन होता है उसकी सेल्स का बाय कीपिंग द सेल्स फ्लेक्सिबल वो रॉन्ग है ट्रांसपिरेशन लीड्स टू टर्जिडिटी ऑफ द सेल्स ये क्लियरली आपके एनसीआर में दिया है सो इट्स अबाउट द टर्जिडिटी टर्जिडिटी लीड्स और ट्रांसपिरेशन लीड्स टू द टर्जिडिटी वो सेल्स को टर्जिड बनाता है तो लॉट्स ऑफ वाटर इज सप्लाई तो उसमें वर्ड फ्लेक्स इज रॉन्ग है इसलिए आपका आंसर सी या तो ऑप्शन सी इज रॉन्ग और आपको वही रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट उसने फाइंड आउट करना था दिस वे राइट लेट्स सी वन मोर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 108 डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एसोसिएशन एरिया ऑफ सेरिब्रम अगर सेरिब्रम का एसोसिएशन एरियास uh, आपने डिस्ट्रॉय किया है 108 इट सेज 
if we are destroying the association areas of a cerebrum, cerebrum is a part of the brain, it's associated with lots and lots of activities. See, I'll tell you, uh, if you see at a larger scale properly, then these questions might be really so, so confusing to you because cerebrum is a much larger part, okay, and it's dealing with almost everything over there. However, if you find out the best out of four, best option out of four, so in that memory, memory may, there may be some areas, the other areas, and some more areas called as association areas. Okay? See, other ones ka jo aapka options diya hai, that cerebrum ka agar aapne destroy kiya, or any kind of damage to the association area, only association area of a cerebrum, to usse urge of eating and drinking, wo effect hoga, ya regulation of body temperature, ya sensory signaling, ya memory. Memory may, you see this very clearly given in your books also, that association area are playing a great role in memory. So it's a simple and straight answer after memory is going to get a factor. All right, like this. Okay, does systematics uh, take evolution relationship in account? Well, yes, that's very, very correct. Systematics ka definition may, systematics ka check number one, uska definition aata hai, to usme evolution relationship, that's very, very important. What is systematics? It's about classification, all right? Classification, everything, the entire process. Taxonomy ke jaisa hi hai. But taxonomy mein plus if you add evolutionary relationship, usko bhi akar account pe kar kiya hai, to aapka definition ban jata hai systematics. Alright, that question comes from where? I'll discuss that one too. What is the function of polysome inside the cell 115? Let's see. 115, question number 115. 115. 115, that's time to ask about the function of polysome inside the cell. Polysome kya hai? Bacteria may ribosomes, ribosomes, ribosomes like this. Okay, this way. Our mRNA will be passing through this, or you could actually say, our mRNA will reading karne wala one ribosome, second ribosome, third ribosome, fourth ribosome, many ribosomes. Okay, trying to read a single mRNA. Ye aapka mRNA hai, aur uske all these different mR uh, ribosomes. They are trying to read, and usme sab bolo protein banata hai. Aise is aapka protein bante jata hai okay so function of polysome inside the cell protein ka formation answer is given c translation that's correct because polysome means many ribosomes like this in bacteria all right we can see one more question that is one double two hundred and twenty two question number one twenty two that's trying to talk about dna fragments generated by restriction endonucleases in a chemical reaction can be amplified by, that's pretty simple. It's trying to talk about amplification of DNA. There are many different ways of amplification of the DNA. Very simple technique, which lab may use of the PCR. Hai. PCR means polymerase chain reaction. All right, it's very clearly given over there. Other question, other options, us may itna eligible hai nahi. Your option B is the only correct because aapko amplify karna hai. Whenever you want to amplify the piece of TNA or your gene, whatever it might be, usko amplify karne ke liye, we are going to use PCR polymerase chain reaction. Agarose, gel electrophoresis, what to DNA ke separation, DNA fragments ka separation ke liye use hoga. So option A is wrong. Option C is talking about southern bloating. Come on, that's about DNA, DNA ka bloating. So wo bhi nahi aega. D is centrifugation, to centrifugation bhi nahi aega. Amplification karna hai, only PCR is the answer. All right, this way. But keep in mind that the cloning ke liye, if you understand it properly, we have done class in your class. You can make multiple copies in the cell. So amplification does occur. When you bacteria in the bacteria, when you recombination in the bacteria, when you introduce the gene to the cell, then the bacteria will also be doubling. There will be two bacteria, two bacteria, two bacteria, four bacteria, four bacteria, eight bacteria. So when the bacteria is doubling, the bacteria is amplification, the gene recombinant DNA that you have introduced, that will be amplification. So PCR directly lab में ऐसे आप technique perform करते हो और cloning जो bacteria में ऐसे bacteria का doubling होता है उससे भी करके आप उस DNA को amplify कर सकते हो। However ऐसा question अगर simple state form में इतना साता है उससे only polymerase chain reaction दिया है तो वो भी correct है। Otherwise cloning inside the bacterial cells वो भी correct answer होगा। 
amplification kill you. Okay? Like that. Okay, uh, so some saying Sudan says the composite forward is one, is there a strong push number 23? Uh, 123 is the one which does from the entire inflorescence. This is morphology chapter whose many inflorescence many. We have seen that different types of the fruits. Ekta something called as composite fruit. Composite fruit that's going to develop from the entire inflorescence. What is the inflorescence? Group of the flowers. Sometimes flowers are too small and all. Uh, you could also say something like this. Itnasa. Isme. This was actually one. This was second. Third one. Fourth one. Then you got one more. One more. One more. So these are many, many flowers. Okay. One, two, three, four flowers. Many flowers together. Generally, kya hota aapka one flower se let's say one fruit ban sakta hai. That's very simple. Very simple type of fruit. But here, your question is composite fruit. So composite fruit means one flower then will be making some part. Second flower will be making one part. Now, this all the flower is so closely packed. And what do you want to say about the flowers? Inflorescence. Flowers group is for less. Inflorescence. So full inflorescence is grow out karta hai into a fruit. So this fruit will be called as composite fruit. That's very easy to understand. If you see these questions, hota hai, you could understand what was actually covered in the class. Okay? So in this way, this is what you say, complete inflorescence card, development to the fruit. This is what we have done in class. Hai. So composite fruit is just trying to talk about the entire something. It's composite. You are having many, many small, small things and it represents in a composite form. Wo kaise represent karta hai? So it means it's time to talk about many many small things over here. Ye many many small things kya hoga? Small small flowers over there. All these flowers ka many ka group hai aapka inflorescence. To full inflorescence wo banane wala aapka composite fruit like this. Okay, somebody saying 116. Uh, that's given straight forward in your NCRE. That's about the evolution chapter. It says which of the following pair of organisms shows Convergent evolution. Aapko <clears throat> convergent. Try to understand the word convergent and divergent. It's given very clearly in NCRE. One, one, six. Divergent evolution may. Divergent evolution may. They will be having a common ancestor. And then they try to diverge or separate from each other. Having basic design. Unka common basic design, then they are diverging from each other. Okay, performing different functions but having similar structures. So, divergent may as a hota hai, the evolution chapter may aata hai, having similar structure. Exactly same nahi hota hai, but they are having some kind of similarity in terms of structure. But they will start having different functions, different functions over the time. So, wo evolution ta aapka divergent type of evolution. Okay, convergent mein kya hota hai? They will be converging. Convergent evolution mein, they will be converging in terms of their functions. So, us mein, they will be having slightly different kinds of the structures. Different structure, but they start having similar, same kind of the functions. They start using the different structures for the same function. Two different organisms. Then we call it as a simple kind of convergent function. So you can now see different pairs in that one was this kangaroo and wombat, not at all. Then you got koala and bandicoot. Again now, lemon spot and caucus, yes of course. All of the above now. So only C corresponds to that because they start having similar kind of the function. That's convergent. So they are converging in terms of performing same kind of the function. All right. Like that, further, you can see 127. Okay, um, it seems you have got some other questions still. Rohan says, main function of mRNA. Boy, the main function of mRNA is to serve as a template, as a template for the formation of protein. I believe that is some question, question given somewhere, but mRNA as a template serve karta hai. mRNA is a piece of information. MRNA is only the piece of information jo use hota hai. I believe there is some question somewhere given. Um, it's going to serve as a template. That's a question given somewhere. I don't know where it is coming. 
As far as possible, try to write both. In short, question number also. But you know that I believe mRNA works as a template. mRNA को read करके उसमें से फिर protein बनता है. Okay, it's as simple as that. So template because उसको read उसका जैसे sequence होगा mRNA का according to the sequence होगा आपके protein का. That's all. Okay. Uh, one more question says which of of uh, is the non-protein amino acid question number 156 156 which is the following is a non-protein amino acid that's a beautiful question see for this what you should be knowing biomolecules chapter may i have given the list of 20 amino acids jo protein may banana may use hota hai ye humne list diya tha aapko sab ka okay question number 156 i believe so that 156 non-protein making amino acid means non-proteinogenic so generally aapke proteins ke sequence mein aise present hota hai so let's say one amino acid, second amino acid, third amino acid, fourth amino acid aise different different amino acids let's say aapke glutamate, aspartate, glutamate, asparagin, cysteine, uh, methionine etc and all right different amino acids but kone sa amino acid isme se jo diya hai wo protein banane mein use nahi hota hai Lysine to use hota hai, basic amino acid hai. Glycine, wo aliphatic amino acid, wo hone aapko diya hai. Serine, I have given that one also. Okay, then gamma amino butyric acid, that's GABA. Gamma amino butyric acid. See, use the word properly. Gamma amino butyric acid. तो वो अमाइनो एसिड है उसमें अमाइनो ग्रुप भी होता है और आपका एसिडिक ग्रुप भी होता है बिकॉज़ इट्स सेम दैट वे गामा अमाइनो अमाइनो ब्यूट्रिक एसिड एसिड वो अमाइनो एसिड ही है बट गाबा गामा माने ब्यूट्रिक एसिड ऐसा तो 20 की लिस्ट में हमने आपको नहीं दिया है सिंपली दे दैट इज नॉट यूज्ड इन मेकिंग इन मेकिंग ऑफ एनी प्रोटीन प्रियस इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर इट्स अ केमिकल या अमाइनो एसिड जो आपके ब्रेन में प्रेजेंट होता है उस गाबा का फंक्शन क्या है दैट्स इनहिबिटरी अगर इसका डेफिशिएंसी हो जाता है तो यस yes, आपको एंजाइटी होगा उसका डेफिशिएंसी से और अगर ये मोर हो गया तो उससे आपको डिप्रेशन होगा ब्रेन को नॉट यू डोंट वरी ओके बट सम साइकोलॉजिकल पेशेंट्स सो पेशेंट्स में गाबा गामा अमाइनो ब्यूट्रिक एसिड ये ऑपोजिट होता है टू एस्पार्टेट एंड ग्लूटामेट एस्पार्टेट ग्लूटामेट का फंक्शन इससे एक्जेक्टली ऑपोजिट है ग्लाइसिन एंड गाबा सो गाबा व्हाट डज इट डू अगर इसका लोअर लेवल से इट कैन लीड टू द एंजाइटी इनसाइड द ब्रेन और हाई लेवल्स कैन लीड टू द डिप्रेशन समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके तो ये नॉन प्रोटीन अमाइनो एसिड था अम वी गोट फ्रॉम मोर डाउट इट सीम्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 95 आई विल हेल्प विद दैट वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 95 व्हाट डज इट से I have already explained question number 95 very clearly. Okay, fine. So, Smitha ki do narrowly utilitarian category mein A aata hai, BB hota hai, or DBA hota hai, but C, coronation ka usse correlation nahi hai. Okay, so coronation means C is the answer. Fine. So, question number 127 mein ek uh, diagram jaisa diya hai, that's about insulin. Okay, it's very very clear. It's a good question. It's going to be NCRD2. Insulin ka structure diya hai. How exactly that insulin looks like. Usu uska different chains diya hai. Two different chains. And those chains are going to combine with each other. Okay. So that way. So question 127. The diagram given is for insulin. And insulin is definitely dealing with the pancreas. To uska answer a jata hai. Pancreas. Okay, this comes in your physiology. X body was discovered by 133. 133, question number 133. So, X body. X body means X chromosome. Very simple. X body or X chromosome. Kiss and discover. Kia hai. Hutchinson, well, not at all. Morgan, no. Mandel, no. It's about Hanking. Hanking has discovered that in the year 1891. That's also correct. So X body is also called as Hanking body. Okay, that's also called as Hanking body because who was scientist and first time who observed Kiyata. So Hanking scientist. Who's now whoops for Kiyai? Any other questions? DNA fragments, we've seen all these. Can go ahead with some more. 
Okay, what does it say? 141 term used to describe the generation of non parental gene combinations. 141. That's a good question. 141. 141. Non parental. What do you see here? Non parental gene combinations. For that, well, Linkage, not at all. Linkage ka answer nahi usse. It's not about gene combination. And back to non-parental, no. Linkage hai, same chromosome pe hi, agar aapka two genes present hai, then it's called as linkage. Regeneration, it's not associated with that question at all. No correlation transformation. Transformation is fully different. Ek bacterium mein, like one cell receives the DNA material from another cell, then changes its properties. That's called transformation. Wo bhi isme nahi aega. Only answer meaning is recombination. That's absolutely correct. Recombination. Okay? It comes in a party monology. This is the last option. Option D. In 141. That's the correct one. So what else? We can see some more questions. Uh, questions like 174, if you see. That's a very good question. 174. Health and disease. It says which of the following technique of diagnosis is used for early detection of disease. Agar koi disease ho jata hai, to uska early detection karna hai. Government of India is really doing well. Nowadays we are making our own corona detection kits, COVID-19 kits. What we are using that, in that our uska ko the detection karna hai COVID-19 ka, coronavirus ka, uske liye we are using the PCR, simple PCR kits. PCR भी क्या करना है? Simply आपने जो उसका sample लिया है person से, वो sample का sample भी you will be having that virus. ये virus जो है corona virus और covid nineteen that is RNA virus, okay? RNA virus. So RNA virus जो वहाँ से लिया उसका first of all amplify by using the technique of PCR and after that उसका corresponding उसका complementary जो covid nineteen या corona virus का Complementary, उसके RNA से complementary RNA जो आपके पास है, वो आपको वहाँ पे add करना है, and उसके साथ में अगर आपने inflorescence भी दिया है, so what will happen? Those particular sites will show some kind of inflorescence, and you will come to know whether it is present or not. Consider, imagine ये corona का RNA था, अब आपको find out करना है ये corona का ही है या नहीं है? You have already have some good knowledge about Corona कि Corona का RNA का sequence क्या होता है तो आपने अपने पास से ये वाला RNA का piece let's say ये add कर दिया है और let's say ssDNA okay but वो तो RNA है तो उसमें there is like some kind of differential DNA और anyways we don't go in detail तो ऐसे आपने ssDNA और या तो RNA का piece जब लिया है वो complementary है let's say that RNA it's complementary to this COVID-19 या तो कोरोना आरएनए तो उससे ही वो मैच करने वाला उसके साथ में आपने फिर ये फ्लोरोसेंस टैग भी ऐड किया है सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट आप ये प्रेजेंट है या नहीं है वो फाइंड आउट कर सकते हो अगर इन्फ्लुएंसेंस आया मींस हमारे वाले इस आरएनए ने उस आरएनए का डिटेक्शन को प्रेजेंस को डिटेक्ट किया है या वो एसएसटीएनए को लेट्स से डिटेक्ट किया है बट दिस वायरस इज अ कोरोना आरएनए कोरोना इज अ आरएनए वायरस Okay, so that's how we are using the PCR technique. Usme first of all, you have to amplify karna hota hai. So amplification ke liye we'll be using that technique, and then by using this kind of um, complementary sequence, aap uska presence find out kar sakte ho. So the best technique hai earliest detection ke liye, wo aayega aapka PCR polymerase chain reaction. Answer is C in that. Serum analysis and all, urine analysis, all of the above. Well. All are secondary. Best answer is polymeric chain reaction. Usse aap easy early detection kar sakte ho. Okay, that was a good question. We can have one more non one sorry five. That question, what does it say? It's about enzymes. Hundred and seventy five. Ye enzymes ka koi question hai. It's time to talk about. उसमें उसका डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज दिया है एंड ए बी सी एंड ए सी इफ यू ट्राइड टू रीड इट आउट इट सेस एक्टिविटी ऑफ द एंजाइम कैन बी अफेक्टेड बाय चेंज 
activity of the enzyme can be affected by a change in the condition which can alter the secondary structure of the proteins aapka jo enzymes hota hai uska activity kis state mein hota hai enzymes are active in their tertiary structure you have primary secondary or tertiary quaternary all these structures of proteins enzymes are proteins most of the enzymes right they are proteins तो उनका टर्शरी स्ट्रक्चर वो जब डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाता है उसका एक्टिविटी नहीं होगा तो ऑप्शन नंबर सी में वर्ड दिया है कि उनका एक्टिविटी अफेक्ट हो जाएगा अगर सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर डिस्ट्रॉय हो गया तो नो वो वर्ड सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर रॉन्ग है तो वहां पे क्या होना है वहां पे होना है टर्शरी स्ट्रक्चर इट मीन माई ऑप्शन सी इज अ रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज उसने दिया है सेकेंडरी वर्ड लाइक दिस क्लियर That's how it goes. Hundred and seventy-five. Okay, so lots of those kind of questions. Any more questions? Ah, oh, well, one of the questions is saying among the nitrogen bases involved in RNA formation means A U C G. The single ring base is a uh, question number one sixty-six. Hundred and sixty-six among the nitrogen. nitrogen bases involving rna formation the single ring single ring wala i hope you understand this the nitrogen bases hota hai i'm trying to talk about question number 166 and this is talking about rna to so, rna mein kon kon sa bases hota hai a u c n g adenine guanine ye wala purine hai u and c ye wala pyridine hai purines me it would be looking like this purines me nitrogen 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 aisa hoga aapka purine so ye purine structure kis mein hoga adenine guanine me aur sirf ye single ring nitrogen nitrogen as a single ring aise kis mein hoga ab remaining rna me to au cd hota a bond g bond u and c me now try to see 166 mein options diya hai एडीनाइन गोएनाइन वो तो नहीं आएगा एडीनाइन गोएनाइन में तो डबल रिंग होता है अब सी थायमिन भी नहीं आएगा थायमिन तो आरएनए में होता ही नहीं है ऑप्शन डी यूरेसिल यूरेसिल में सिंगल रिंग है सो आंसर इज डी दैट इज यूरेसिल रोहन ओके दैट्स प्रीम अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चंस अम वी कैन हैव अ लुक एट फिर मोर If I doubt to you, you can just let me know. All your doubts or the questions. For most of the cartilages, body weight embryo are replaced in adult by question number one fifty nine or sixty nine. It is sixty nine. It is one sixty nine. Most of the cartilages in cartilage, so body weight embryo me tha. आर रिप्लेस इन एडल्ट एडल्ट में उसका क्या बन जाता है सम स्पेशलाइज्ड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू दैट्स अबाउट द स्पेशलाइज्ड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू फॉर्मेशन दैट्स हाउ इट कम्स से देयर आर लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ द कार्टिलेजेस जो एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज में होता है उसमें वी जनरली हैव मोर ऑफ डेलिकेसी द सिस्टम्स व्हाट आर दे आर बीइंग फॉर्म वो थोड़ा सा सॉफ्टर होता है उसमें हार्डनिंग विद मोर ऑफ द कैल्शियम फॉस्फेट एंड ऑल वो सब एडल्ट स्टेज में आएगा तो जब आपको स्पेशलाइज्ड कनेक्टिव टिश्यूज बनाना है Okay, that time what we require that time more of the calcium phosphate will be required, and it just results in formation of those connective tissues or specialized connective tissue formation. All right, so is that given? Yes, loose connective tissue. No, one is wrong. Dense cellular wrong. Three is wrong. It's four. Specialized connective tissue is given over there as option D. Okay, question number one twenty. What does it say? Question one twenty three is trying to talk about which of the following statements is correct about self incompatibility, outgrowing or outcrossing? That's your doubt. Question number one twenty. Question number one twenty me is correct about self incompatibility. Self incompatibility के लिए कौन सा वाला correct है? Okay. So this is a genetic mechanism. वो तो correct है. I'll explain this in the class. It's a kind of genetic mechanism. Genes 
वो मेक करता है सम मेल डिटर्मिनेंट्स एंड फीमेल डिटर्मिनेंट्स डीएनए मींस जीन्स जो होगा सेम प्लांट का इस सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबल कैसे आता था जो एक सिंगल प्लांट का जो डीएनए था वो प्रोटीन्स बनाता था सम प्रोटीन्स कॉल्ड एज मेल प्रोटीन्स एंड फीमेल प्रोटीन्स ओके तो प्रोटीन्स कैसे बनेगा ऑफ कोर्स डीएनए या जीन से तो जेनेटिक मैकेनिज्म है यस नंबर 1 इज करेक्ट This is an outbreeding device, of course. Outbreeding We have inbreeding and outbreeding. Inbreeding, outbreeding again strategies for enhancement in food production में उसमें आउट ब्रीडिंग का भी डिफरेंट टाइप होता है आउट क्रॉसिंग क्रॉस ब्रीडिंग वो सबका सब आउट ब्रीडिंग है सो जो आपका क्वेश्चन है आउट ब्रीडिंग और आउट क्रॉसिंग में आउट ब्रीडिंग का आउट ब्रीडिंग के अंदर में आउट क्रॉसिंग आता है ओके लाइकवाइज सो ऑफ कोर्स आउट क्रॉसिंग करेक्ट है आउट ब्रीडिंग भी करेक्ट है उस आउट ब्रीडिंग का एक टाइप है आउट क्रॉसिंग टाइप्स कौन-कौन सा है आपके लेट्स से आउट ब्रीडिंग का आउट ब्रीडिंग का टाइप्स है आउट क्रॉसिंग क्रॉस ब्रीडिंग आउट क्रॉसिंग क्रॉस ब्रीडिंग एंड देन यू हैव इंटर स्पेसिफिक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन वो सब उसका टाइप्स है सो नंबर 2 भी करेक्ट है दिस प्रिवेंट्स बोथ ऑटोगैमिक गैट एंड ऑटोगैमिक यस दैट्स करेक्ट उससे ऑटोगैमिक ऑटोगैमिक मींस एक सिंगल फ्लावर में ही इस ट्री का जो वन फ्लावर था उसमें मेल टू फीमेल पार्ट हुआ तो ऑटोगैमी और इस प्लांट में ही अगर टू डिफरेंट फ्लावर्स हैं ओके तो वन फ्लावर से अगर फ्लावर वो था गैटोनोगैमी तो ऑटोगैमी भी प्रिवेंट होगा गैटोनोगैमी भी प्रिवेंट होगा बट जीनोगैमी फ्रॉम सम अदर ट्री वो वाला प्रमोट होता है सो ऑटोगैमी प्रिवेंटेड गैटोनोगैमी प्रिवेंटेड बट जीनोगैमी इज प्रमोटेड सो ये थर्ड वाला भी करेक्ट है so answer is d all of the above clear like this question 172 options are confusing really 172 we have a look at that what does it say 172 main function of mrna is oh boy yes you are correct they are a little bit confusing jab bhi aisa confusion it's very simple and straight forward that Find out the best possible answer. You are correct. The option is confusing. He had 170 uh, up to two main. The main function of mRNA kya hai? See, acting as template for RNA wo correct hai. Acting as template. Well, template word correct hai. That's why they have given the answer number one. Uh, acting as template for protein synthesis. So, it's may definitely thoda confusion aapko create karne wala because mRNA ka function protein synthesis hai but option A may they have given specifically acting as a template because the word template the answer one hai otherwise aapka option C hi ho sakta tha DNA synthesis both are possible nahi hai 172 may right so mRNA ka function DNA synthesis nahi hai likewise conversion of DNA to RNA ye mRNA ka function aisa koi nahi hai Okay, so I've got one and A and C options. Question number 172 may some students who confuse on hai. So, us may mRNA ka function they are asking. So, option A and C for are confusing hai. A make word diya it's working as a template. Or C may diya protein synthesis. Well, both are correct to some good extent. Okay, because it's the limit function protein synthesis he hai. But it's working as a template. Well, in that sense, because they have used the word template, that's why they have given it as chemo option A is correct. Hai. Otherwise, I do agree, it's a little bit confusing for sure. Okay. Anyways, that's fine. Okay, question number it got 142 doubt. 142. I'll help you with that. 142. If you like it. Let me take that. Question number 142. So ligation, ligation means the joining. Alright. How do we do that? And then 42. If you like it, a uh, foreign DNA add the PST1 side of antibody resistance gene. In the vector PBR322, the recombinant DNA will lose the ampicillin resistance site. That's absolutely correct. Ampicillin resistance. What is ampicillin resistance? Ampicillin resistance gene. Is it going to destroy? 
ये आपका जब सिलेक्शन करना होता है कॉलोनीज का लेट्स से बीज आर सर्ज माई कॉलोनीज की रिकॉग्निश हुआ है नहीं हुआ है जब आपको वेरिफिकेशन करना होता है दैट टाइम आप ये टेक्निक यूज करते हो दैट आप क्या करते हो जो फॉरेन डीएनए आपका होता है डीएनए रिकॉम्बिनेशन में तो उस फॉरेन डीएनए को एक स्पेसिफिक साइट पे आपको ज्वाइन कराना होता है हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू लाइजेशन कहाँ पे लाइजेशन कराना है आपने जो आपका वैक्टर था वैक्टर की स्पेसिफिक साइट पे एट पी एस टी वन साइट पी एस टी वन साइट पे वहां पे आपने उसको इतना सा लेट से ये एक एरिया था वट वॉज दैट दैट वॉज एक्चुअली जीन Which gene was that? The gene was about ampicillin resistance. Ampicillin resistance का जीन था. उस जीन में वो particular site था, PST1 site. So there is some kind of restriction in the nucleus enzyme, जो उस site पे जाके cutting करता है, और ये cut करके फिर आपने क्या क्या उस DNA को ऐसे open किया, और after that तो उसका product नहीं आएगा, और ampicillin resistance भी show नहीं करने वाला. That's a very very good question. But you should be knowing कि जो PST1 site है वो site क्या है? That's falling somewhere in between the ampicillin resistance gene. तो उसे आपको gene destroy हो रहा है। अपने वहाँ से उसको open किया, से cut करके open किया, वहाँ पे foreign gene लगा दिया, तो आपका gene का थोड़ा सा part यहाँ पे, थोड़ा सा part यहाँ पे है, तो उसे gene तो destroy हो गया। अगर वो gene destroy हो गया, और फिर आप antibiotic ampicillin देते हो, तो उसका resistance possible नहीं होगा। Okay, like 